あんな大きなものを入れたのもあんなに硬いので貫かれてグイグイ遊べられて<笑><笑>
That guy's getting straight to business and wasting no time. Okay, put on a good slob. Glove, slob, glove. Well, did the pin go away? Slather. <laughs> Dang, that thing works quick. I'll put some more on for you then. Oh my god. Ayaka. Have you not put it together? <laughs> She's so stupid. Whether or not we'll form a deep dependence since that was a drug? Uh, Oh, that man. Okay. Okay, it all makes sense now. <clears throat> you still haven't said what herb. It sounds like marijuana, but it could be anything. It's <clears throat> Yeah, we'll never use something like that ever. Never. She came out of nowhere and left in a similar fashion. Watching out for dehydration was right, huh? Ah, you're being dramatic. No, no, it was just like he. She made me remember just how I had gotten her to drink. The group sex that followed was also questionable, but the kiss and whatnot before it was also embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, well. Notice how she's not spicy anymore. She finally got something up her butt. And quite literally. Now she's in a good mood. That's all she needed. She needed a whole little bit of anal work. But all of the matters that had concerned her settled. She all but ran away. Pretend today never happened, huh? I did agree that was best. This whole situation was nothing more than a perk for me personally, at the very least. I had no plans to complain. The only issue was I cream pied Reina. Um, Reina. Hi. The morning after pill is apparently 90% effective. Y In other words, there was a 10% chance of failure. If it wasn't an unsafe day, then the odds should be far lower than that 10%, but. I'm sorry. Mama. Oh. Sounds like her thought process is different from mine. You could do that. But Reina, abortion is another option. Okay. All right. Well, we see where you stand there. Oh uh, man, do what you want. It's your body, for real. She said that like it was a given. Reina patted a hand against her belly. 
できたら産むで育てる赤ちゃんは昔から欲しかったもん来てくれるならラッキーラッキーだよでもデザイナーの夢と並行できるパターンが良かったななんとか卒業まで待ってくれないかな That seemed to be the only part she was worried about. Reyna would deliver the baby if she had gotten pregnant, huh? Noble Academy has strong connections to the design industry as well, so I'm sure you want the prestige that goes with being a Noble Academy graduate. So, 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 やりたいのはデザイナーでもデザイン部門ってやつでこれ家でもできる仕事だから。She could do it alongside raising a child, huh? The problem was graduation then? If you're pregnant, then you'll be due around November of next year. Might work out as long as you take an extended leave around that time. 産む場合はさすがに大学じゃない Let's turn to Sobi. We'll have her use her royal cheap powers to put pressure on the academy. その手があったか。いやでもさすがにさ。A right smile and resigned look popped on the Reyna's face since there was a degree of common sense to it. I don't want that. If I meant hardship for Reyna, I would prostrate myself before the big wigs at the academy or still be without a moment's hesitation. As far as that goes, wouldn't you have better odds if we worked something out together? Oh yeah. Hmm? Together, yeah, me and you, yeah, yeah. There's also our parents. Actually, it'd be best if we relied on Sylvie's cheap powers and asked for the help of some royal wet nurse of sorts. On second thought, maybe that'd be wrong. Given how Joga Saki acted before, I'm sure she'd help us out too. We can make this work out somehow. Yeah, 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 so じゃなくて Eh, Oro mo kazu ni haite るの Huh? Let me flip that around and ask. You're not counting me? I'm the daddy who just cream pied you. <laughs> She seemed to have overlooked my existence and she smiled wryly to her surprise. Not happening. If you give birth, I'll be that baby's father. Should we? <laughs> Sound like she considered that a joke and she grinned like crazy in response. However, I was very serious. Listen, Reyna, it's a little sketchy to bring up at, at times like this, but I'll say it since it's probably an opportunity. I do love you. Oh, yeah, he shot his shot, finally. But it's also an opportunity. In either case, either case, we just freaking bubbed uglies together. Then, point from a profession of love. For that matter, I could envision what came after. Reyna had a baby, I wanted to raise it with her. What do you think? Legit serious. But if you give birth, I'll be its daddy. I'm the man your child would call daddy. <laughs> My bad on that front. Okay, given on this reaction here, Reyna's reaction, I'm assuming she feels the same way, but like we've talked about before, probably, that they are afraid of messing up what they have going on already, so they just want to stay homies. But Oro seems to be more open to the idea of more than homies, which is great. Hopefully, Reyna. Comes through as well, hopefully. <clears throat> she seemed to have understood this wasn't a joke, then got a mystified look on her face. Yeah! Yeah. I said it. I went ahead and said it. The one word that would destroy our great relationship as friends. I mean, you cream pie her, dude. Like, literally, <laughs> like. <laughs> For as calm as she feigned to be, Reyna's face gradually turned a bright shade of pink before my very eyes. But then... Oh my god. Have you never heard of Hawking? 
Ruined the moment we had going on. <laughs> we were interrupted. That was quick. Kind of a graphic subject. Rena took the pill and puzzled over it a little. I know it's a little weird after the conversation we just had, but take it. Consider it a leg up toward your dream of being a designer. If you want a baby later, I'll help you out anytime. <laughs> Rena headed into the kitchen and took the pill Jogosaki had given her. That's a bold thing to say. This is a smart move on our part and we should keep the odds of her getting pregnant as low as possible, especially for Raina's sake. All I could do was to help her if she did get pregnant. <sighs> it was kind of an astounding day. Um, and ultimately, I confessed? <clears throat> now what is her answer? Hmm. The next day. As for whether she was worried about what happened yesterday and whether or not my relationship with Reina was strained. Morning. <laughs> Things were spectacularly awkward. Well, yeah, given what happened. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't even imagine. <laughs> Nothing at all. Not that I could tell people, anyway. She's always acting weird, Mina. Stop asking questions. Could be. There was an incident like that? I had no idea. Oh. Here was another person that would likely be awkward to deal with. As for her. Wow! Manners! I see you. Yeah, good morning. Mmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, this was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> then again, my relationship with Yogasaki had always been somewhat snide and hostile, so this overly mindful treatment might be preferable. She was indebted to me after yesterday, and I doubt if she would try to drive me away any longer. <coughs> Fuck. <音声><音声><音声><音声> There we go. That's something you should have made peace with since the very beginning of the series. You know what? Something else I was thinking about, like, speaking seriously. I've said it before. I'm not a huge fan of Akane. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a huge fan of Akane. Instead of having, like, an Akane route, it should have been a a yaka root you know i'm not a huge fan of a yaka either but i would have rather much preferred a yaka i find her far more interesting than akane akane kind of annoys me or is that just me maybe <clears throat> that crude vulgar commenter put his thingy in your thingy that's crazy mm-hmm <laughs> yep, apparently. Nice. I wonder what's going to happen. When did I fix my relationship with Reina somehow? Either way, the issue of whether she was pregnant or not came first. She was apparently going to get examined by a jeans college and gene colleges in a week. That being the case, there was no action I could take for another week either. Oh? Another week would be the end of the second term. Uh, talk about crappy timing. If I sat on this too long, my ordinary relationship with Reyna was liable to go straight down the drain. But if I would act without consulting her first... You scared me. 
A classmate suddenly came in. This is my room, you know. At least knock. Granted, there was plenty of people, namely Minachan and Reina, who had a free pass to come in. But still. Oh. I had completely forgotten. Before all of that happened in Reina and Jogosaki, I guess I had made plans to meet him today. I said meet him at the station, but he must have come here directly when I didn't show. Not cool, though, not cool. Talk about a noisy onlooker. What's up? I didn't know what that important matter was that he wanted to discuss. But all Torio would do whenever asked was to give an ambiguous laugh. That's so? Well, you saw me. We done here? <laughs> I mean, my mind was fully preoccupied with Rain at the moment, so I didn't have the time to spare to keep him company and desperately wanted to escape. But. Hmm? <clears throat> I know, for real. That is pretty rude. <laughs> My female classmates sure were scary. Didn't look like I could manage to escape either. Talk about trouble. As for Torio, he was just plain humbly <laughs> bumbling on what he wanted to say. So I couldn't get away. The entire atmosphere between us went stagnant. Not in the dorm. This guy stuck out like a sore thumb and my room was off limits. Ugh, oh, the situation was becoming more and more troublesome by the second. Oh, At the moment, I'm full- <laughs> She pinched my back. Uh, girls were scary. Uh, Kaga-san, I said this before, but Torio's got a girlfriend, okay? I whispered quietly, and that girlfriend is his sister. Is that what you think it is? A date? <laughs> God dang. <laughs> Girls were scary. Why don't you and Torio go by yourselves then? I'm going to my room. <laughs> For whatever reason, she dashed back toward the dorm. The dorm. Don't worry about it. Her personality is a mild condensation of the worst aspects of a woman, but she's not a bad person. <laughs> You're with my sister, idiot! Being an airhead certainly made it easier for you to seduce women. Huh? Certain gymnast who was famous for his impressive armpit hair was in a decade-long relationship and ended up having a kid with another woman when he was away for three months to train. Even after he won the gold medal, he and the baby mothers are still on bad terms. I'm just reminding you not to forget about Chieka. Oh yeah, I haven't seen her lately. You two made any progress? They were being considerate of me, huh? This guy was a total pain in the neck. Oh well, Cherka had to take in the liking to his gilless gil gil nature, so it wasn't my place to complain. For that matter, I didn't plan to butt into anything Cherka did anyway. Oh yeah, what's she up to right now? 
We've been estranged since summer, Semizia. If I feel like it. Kaya came back. Oh, okay. That's valid. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. I was at a major loss as to how they reacted to the person she brought along. She also froze in place when she spotted me. Oh, yeah. Kaga-san asked smugly. This was a selection that would have made me happy up until yesterday morning. Reina quickly took a step away. But... She couldn't run away from a friend's request. Her good nature was her downfall, I guess you could say. Hmm, interesting. As I watched Kaga's fierce onslaught from the sidelines. Yeah. What's our baby mama doing? The mood on our end was equally intense. Listen, Reina. Settle down. She didn't know how to handle the tension and was spinning her wheels in a pretty spectacular fashion. Don't be so hateful. It's fun seeing her like this. Calm down. She was still in a panic. You were calm about possibly being pregnant yesterday, so why are you freaking out about what I said now? She clapped her hands against her rosy red cheeks. I see. That made me happy to hear. I was apparently the best of her friend group. With that being the case, it would be difficult to transition from friendship to love. The fact that I had rain on my mind, I hadn't made a move until this past week because I couldn't throw away my friendship with her was more than enough proof. What could I do about this? You know, Reino, you don't need to think about it that hard. It's not like I want us to become a couple or anything right this very second. I'm fine with the way things are now. So, well, what I'm trying to say is... I whispered in her ear. If you're not pregnant, we can pretend I never said what I did yesterday. That was how I really felt. Once I told her, Reina thought for a moment with a distressed expression and... Still looking just as bothered. You can't what? Oh, well yeah, he did feel you. He did feel you, and quite literally. I'm sure you will. I understood how she felt. If at all possible, I wish we could forget all about yesterday and carry on leisurely as friends. There was no take backs now that we'd come this far. That's just how life was. Would there be a night or a golden color that lay past it? That was the sole difference. Hmm? Yeah. Oh. That would help me out a lot too. Fair, that's fair, that's fair. We cut the conversation short until next week. Part of me thought, if only we took this opportunity to take one huge step forward. This would work for the time being though. We were far more comfortable going at a modest pace. I could respect that, alright, alright. In the end, the day passed with Kaga leading us all around. Yeah. Don't, please don't come again. I saw Torio off. It occurred to me that I hadn't gotten to talk to Torio at all. Why had he even come in the first place? 
have an untypically scheduled practice for every single Sunday, and the players only had a couple of days off per year. Why would he waste such a precious day off? He went that far to come see me? Oh well, if he had planned something, or if he wanted to tell me, if he had something he wanted to tell me, I'm sure he'd visit again. There were more important things for me to worry about right now. Yeah. Namely that Reyna had started acting like my friend again. I was happier this way. For now. We're not gonna take this. <clears throat> it's a minor, minor, very minor W. At least it's not in awkward terms, but still. I can't stay like this. I like how we finally started it seeing Sylvia a lot less. In the recent, in the last recent episodes of this route. Because I don't, I just, uh, I don't know. Like, it's hard to concentrate on one girl when, you know, she's being thrown to your face. You know? You know? Hey, it was a relief to see people from outside of the dorm. This had been one hectic weekend. A bunch of stuff happened, yeah. Huh? But because Jogasaki did? She told you about the threesome? <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> He's so stupid. Folded. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Uh, oh, you're talking about the incense. <laughs> Absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> she had apparently kept the threesome itself on the rafts, but had told the other son about the incense we'd breathe it in. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I will. I feel fine right now. That was one dangerous incense. She must have been worried about me, my having breathed it in. I didn't want to know what would become of someone as serious as her if she would have breathed it in. Ho ho ho! That would have been the fun. Sylvia, shut up! <laughs> yeah, I'd love to if I could. She, and then Sylvia's like, how was the threesome right now? <clears throat> hey. She greeted me as her cheeks flushed a light shade of pink. This was probably good enough for today. There was no need to rush. Okay, stop. I covered her mouth. <laughs> Never mind. And then... Yet another person that I felt questionably distant from had arrived. <laughs> she was like he was the same as ever to the others. She was treating Reina the same way too. They certainly weren't close enough to call each other friends, but genial classmates. Which was when... M morning. Huh? Ah. She ignored me and went off somewhere. She's her usual self in the sense though, ignoring me. Nothing at all. We decided to treat it like it was nothing. The way she treated me was ostensibly the same as before. Nothing happened between us and that was for the best. Wow, Sylvia notices everything. <clears throat> uh, oh my god Jesus, it's probably like 7 in the morning, relax 
昨日も彼のものを思って三回も自分で<笑>私どうしたらいいんですナイスねえねえところでオーロにレイナ二人はクリスマスって何か用事はあってクリスマス24えっと次の次の日曜日あるっちゃあるけど何<笑>実はね、うちの別荘でちょっとしたパーティーを用意しているの。範囲が式ですが、全員を招待しています。ああ、今、everyone from class? 学園関係者全員。That's 300 people. Can you book a venue like that? うちの別荘ならそれくらいは入るわ。広いもんね、シルビンチ。The Borg. I'm not going to try to read that. I turned up for the first time in a while. すでにお断りを受けたのが半分ほど、最終的にはそれほどの集いにはならないでしょうが、いかがでしょうか。うん、what should I do? It is Christmas in all. 一末殿は不参加です。<咳>残念です。うわあ、オール来ないの？シルビー様、無理を言ってはなりません。それもそうね。残念だけど仕方ないわ。オールは不参加。Wait, wait, I'm not saying I won't go. My manly pride took a bit of a hit when I instantly gave the okay after being offered the invitation. I assume there will be food? I'll be there then. Yep. Oh, yeah, of course she's gonna be there. Probably. Reyna's reaction was a bit poor, but Sylvie remained considerate. What did Reyna have planned for Christmas, though? You have something planned? It weighed on my mind. She told me there was no man in her life, but having plans over Christmas typically meant. Ah, ah, I get it. When I heard Sunday, I remembered. Reyna's pregnancy checkup was next Sunday, and it should tell us whether she was expecting or not at that point. <coughs> Excuse me. However, every woman was unique in how their bodies reacted to the fertilization of the egg and any physical changes that occurred during pregnancy. The best approach was apparently to perform a two week and a one month post checkup. As far as I could tell, Reyna seemed unaffected by it the first week out. Nah, nothing. It would obviously still be a delicate situation if this news got out. Look at her face. Look at her stupid face. She knows something. <laughs> I wonder what she's thinking now. That night. Something wrong? Hmm. The usual? I'd gotten used to these random summons from a princess. The only difference today was in who I was dealing with. Sure. Minachan joined me outside and headed toward the city. As we did, there were signs of Minachan's bodyguards lurking in the shadows. Minachan's black suited guards faded away. And just as they did. Yeah. Sylvie、so、came along to lead the way. What's up? Hard to believe you drove away the guards. There were no bodyguards with her today, not even Ellison. Sylvie was alone. The black suits had been cleared out. <laughs> the final bodyguard on her person left to guard the path to the Tay. He did a like. I said, take. <laughs> This is awfully elaborate. We were completely and utterly alone. This was a situation I hadn't found myself in in quite some time. Got me a little tense. It's already chilly, so I can't recommend we stick around too long. I took a seat as she prepared a piping hot cup of milk tea for me. I figured that's where this is was going. I knew this would happen from the second she invited me for a tea party. <laughs> Are you gonna tell her? 
It'd be a lie if I said there wasn't or there hasn't been some progress. Not that I wanted to give her any specifics. So we had been curious about this particular topic since last week's tea party, but there was a clear difference between then and now. Of all the things that could have happened this week, I may have gotten Raina pregnant. Our relationship had no choice but to move forward, no matter how we may struggle otherwise. You shouldn't ask something like that. Don't ask prying questions, yeesh. But yeah, I did. It wasn't something to hide either. I literally cream pied her. That's him. <laughs> As if there's anyone in Japan who'd do that. There were probably only two or three like that on Earth. I can't say how I did it. I couldn't tell her we'd had sex under the influence. Did I convince her, her in a panic when I realized I may have gotten her pregnant? <laughs> it's so funny. She needed more time. I couldn't say why she put her answer on hold, but Sylvie accepted it without any explanation. <laughs> You're too sweet, Sylvie. You're too sweet. Huh? It's for me? I thought this was just some princess's lark, but I'd been her central focus. It made me happy if I took this as an act of kindness, but it did put me on the spot. What is it? Dance party of sorts, I bet? Where am I supposed to confess after the dance is over? Hey, I don't know if that's a good idea. Spare me, please. I clearly couldn't go along with that. I shook my head. It would be pointless even if she did prefer or prepare a place for me to confess. What's important right now is how Reina feels. Her feelings will determine everything. Despite how messy everything had been, I'd already said everything I needed to say. The only question left was Reina's. Were Reina's feelings. This wasn't something I could control. So, Reina was why she said to Uh, um... About that. If I were to leave out anything pregnancy related. Basically, she doesn't know we can date because we're friends. I did think that was the biggest issue Reyna was hung up on. She was worried our friendship would fall apart. I was, naturally, concerned by that aspect too. The biggest issue to both of us was... Not something that made sense to a princess. Um, well, because it would change the nature of our relationship. It's not that simple. It was pretty, I was pretty serious, but she wouldn't understand. Sylvie so made it sound like it were the easiest thing in the world. You know, I, I'm not gonna camp. I'm gonna have to side with Sylvia. I agree with her. 100%. Like, there's time for everything. Hmm. Hmm. Balance. I'd heard that word before. Balance, huh? Where the heck is Rhea at? That's the real question. Rhea was good at maintaining an interpersonal balance. Yes, ma'am. Sylvie flashed a carefree smile. I wasn't sure I should say this to a princess, but... Sylvie, you're... I get it now. Breezy. Breezy? I don't mean the weather, I mean your personality. That's a wonderful personality trait to have. So? <laughs> that appeared to be all she wanted to discuss as she took a breather and grabbed her cup of black tea. There was little we could discuss in such a short amount of time and our 15 minutes was now up. I was totally used to hearing that word at this point but it still made me blush. 
この日本に来て毎日すごく楽しいけれどそのうち半分くらいは2人がそばにいてくれるからだわ。She's so、wholesome. 私のゴールデンタイムは2人なの。Oh. <笑>クリスマス期待していてとても楽しいパーティーを開く予定だから。Yeah, I would have been like, oh man, thanks. Bro, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, Sally Kim's the ruin the moment. I heard the scary person's voice. <laughs> that will never not be scary. Why is it so loud? <laughs> Suddenly, the toy's mouth opened wide and Sylvie tossed the entire tea set inside its bowels. How? Sure. <laughs> Once Sylvie hopped on, flames burst from Kudo's legs and took off into the air. She just flew away? That thing becomes more and more ridiculous every single day. That thing becomes more and more ridiculous every single route. Sylvia and Nelson were their usual selves. That's fun. With that, I headed back to the dorm. The thing that I was most mindful of in, the rich, in this rich girl's dorm happened around 9 o'clock each night. Everyone went to bed at all, all at the same time, leaving the foyer empty. They had almost absurdly healthy circadian rhythms. But. It wasn't as if there weren't those who didn't fit that mold.、Oh. Yo, what's up? She was drinking a hot coffee milk. Coffee milk. He just said he can't sleep. Seemingly satisfied by our discussion, Reyna finished her drink and stood up. Hang on a sec. I invited her to my place so we could have a leisurely chat. <laughs> you followed me willingly, so I didn't drag you anyway. <laughs> Reyna was acting like her normal self, but. You're not going to be able to sleep for a while since you just had coffee. Keep me company and let's talk. Also, you're a caffeine addict. Yeah, I've heard Japanese people have a high tolerance for caffeine. But have trouble find, fending off drowsiness. The fact you were drinking that all probably means you're having trouble sleeping, right?、Uh. Coffee milk was optimal for boosting your mood. Additionally, Reyna chugged down a coffee milk at this hour meant she was down in the dumps. What happened? <laughs> she patted her belly. I got it. She was feeling anxious now that she'd found time to think. This isn't something I can really say. But all you can do for now is to wait for the results of your examination. You can think about it after.、Mm. The odds of her conceiving were low, and there were plenty of paths she could take if she were to get pregnant. As such, there was nothing to worry about right now, but how could you not? <laughs> I bet there was still nothing she could do to help that uneasy feeling it gave her. I sat beside her. Come here. <laughs> Puff. I pulled her head in close and gave her a lap pillow. Aww. Yep. Looks like it. You can cry if you want to. I'll listen to your, grum your grumble all night long while I gently pet your head. This was payback for the last time. <laughs> really? Personally speaking, I'd rather you cried your eyes out and made us even. I was very hot and pathetic, but you'd done this. For me, so it'd be great if you did the same to put us on equal ground, Reyna. <clears throat> Reyna spun herself around. She rolled over and faced my stomach. <laughs> on it, on it. I mimicked what she'd done for me last time and stroked her hair. Reyna's flashy, bleached hair was surprisingly glossy and pleasant to touch. <laughs> Rena looked like she was enjoying it. Indeed, indeed. Definitely. Makes sense why I fell for you, doesn't it? 
It was certainly a big part of it. I'm telling you, there was more to it than that. I covered my face with my other hand as I whisked my fingers to her hair. You're a cheerful, kind, and considerate person. I'm sure I was drawn to you ever since we became friends. I love you, Reina. I confessed to her all over again. I was a total natural now and managed to say it without flubbing my ending words. It wasn't half past like the last time and I'd managed to profess my love to her anyway. What was her answer? I shyly pulled my hand away from her face. And Reina... <sighs> she just knocked out. <laughs> no way. Had fallen asleep. You dozed off? With the mood we had going? I managed to deliver a super impressive confession too. Unlike the last time, I was a huge bundle of nerves. Nice. What if she's just faking it? Bro, water. Was this the relaxing effect of the coffee mug? She was legitimately out cold. Nice. Yeesh. Not much I could do if she'd fallen asleep. I laid her down in bed. Slipped her under the cover so she wouldn't catch cold. As for me... Yeah, yeah. Guess I'd sleep over here? I brought a blanket over to the sofa with me. Oh boy. I bundled up and laid down. We'd had a great thing going just now. But something told me I was being a little too hasty. Yeah, maybe you are. Especially after, after they talked about going slow. <clears throat> My thing though is now is why go all the way outside? Like you could have just crashed in your own couch or something. Like, you know, even in your own bed, just take your half or something. I mean, you guys have slept before. Hmm. Balance was difficult. Yep. See, now you left her alone, you freaking idiot. The timer just went off too. Holy crap, the timing is amazing. Yep, and that's where we're gonna save. <clears throat> well, guys, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. To be honest, this episode was very tame, at least compared to the last episode. The last episode was really crazy, as we've talked about before. So compared to the last episode, yeah, I mean course it looks very calm and tame and stuff but i thought it was really nice it was a nice chill episode the vibe to this episode was just really chill and i really liked that you know i just really liked the energy of this episode it was just chill and and a lot slower it definitely felt like that way this episode but what more can i say i mean i don't think i could say much more about this episode but i just thought it was nice i liked it nothing crazy is like to say uh, with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up because I feel like I have more to say, but I don't know how and what exactly it is I want to say. If I think about it later and thoughts come up, I'll probably talk about it the next episode, the beginning of the next episode, but there's a good chance I won't. But I'm going to just leave it at that. It was a nice, chill, slow episode. I liked it. Uh, yeah, I do like the idea, though, of like them being like parents like reyna would be such a great mom you know she definitely has that mommy energy <laughs> uh but the whole teenage pregnancy thing that that's 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 crazy that is pretty crazy but hey <laughs> maybe it'll work out i don't know anyways i'm gonna wrap it up here i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of king coy and if you did please hit that link for me subscribe if you haven't already done so if you have any game recommendations you want to see more visual novels like these or something completely different that's a visual novel let me know in the comment section below please let's change this genre i don't mind it doesn't have to be a user soft title it doesn't have to be anything romance related it could be horror gore whatever like surprise me surprise me all right anyways i'm gonna let y'all go you'll stay safe and as always i'll see you guys in the next episode until next time